Here we have a native iOS application that uses voice input to drive the actions within that application. Let me show you it in action. What are the symptoms of a heart attack? Not all heart attacks begin with the sudden, crushing chest pain that often is shown on TV or in the movies. In one study, for... What are the benefits of taking aspirin? Taking daily aspirin can prevent blood clots and lower your risk of heart attack or stroke. If you've already had a heart attack or stroke, daily aspirin can lower your risk of having another... What are the risks of smoking? The chemicals in tobacco smoke harm your heart and blood vessels in many ways. For example, they thicken your blood and make it harder for your blood to carry oxygen. Increase your blood. Now let's jump over to the desktop to see how this works. What we've got is a native iOS application written in Objective-C. You could also write it in Swift if you'd like. And it communicates with three services on IBM Bluemix. We've got the Advanced Mobile Access Service, which is simply used for capturing analytics. So we can see how much activity is happening within the application, and we can also track down any kind of issues through automatic crash reporting or through the capture of device logs. We also have the Watson speech to text service, which takes spoken text, which is a sound file, and turns that into a text transcript, which then gets used in the Watson QA service. And the Watson QA service is a natural language search. So we are able to pass in that natural language, the spoken language, and the Watson QA service uses that to search against our open healthcare data corpus and returns those results to the mobile application. Now let's jump over and look at our dashboard for our app. So I'm on my Bluemix dashboard, and let me jump into my Ask Dr. Watson app, because that's the app that we're currently looking at. And in here, you can see the components of this application. We have our uh, SDK for Node.js, which is our Node.js server. The Node.js server handles all requests to the Watson services. And with our app, we've also got advanced mobile access, which I had mentioned provides for operational analytics and crash and log collection. Um, we have a Cloud at NoSQL database. We have push notification management. Um, those three services together are part of the mobile application boilerplate when you build a mobile app on Bluemix. And then we have the Watson question and answer and Watson's speech to text services. Bluemix itself is a composable architecture, so you can add or remove different services to your application. So if you want to customize it or if you don't want to include specific services or you do want to include other services, you have the option to do that just by clicking add a service or API to add one of the Bluemix services to your app. If we jump over to the next tab that I have here, I've already got my um, data up in advanced mobile access. So I can see the operational links for use within my application. Uh, with this, I can see based on the time period, how many active devices have there been, um, what kind of network requests have there been, and you know what's their performance been. I can go ahead and let's look into network and drill into a little bit more detail. Right now I'm viewing this by week and we can see that, hey, network round trip time went way up this week. Let's switch to day and we can see that, oh, wait a minute, there was a peak here where things were taking ex an extremely long time. Um, we can use this to then go in and dig deeper, compare this with the logs and find out what kinds of issues were happening. Let's jump to hour and you can see specifically at 4 p.m. things really took off and slowed down. Um, and then once we're back at 6 p.m., things seem to have returned to normal. Again, if I go ahead and scroll down, we can look at the number of network requests and we can see when has there been peak usage. And again, I'm looking at this currently by hour. Let's jump to by day and you can see that there's certain days we've had peak usage. Um, we've had a couple requests today. And we can drill in and see uh, essentially a sparkline chart of all the different requests that are being made. And one of my favorite features is that we can come in and see crash reporting. So if I want to see um, details on an application crash, we'll be able to see those. We can also come in and let's say you want to see, you could also come in and see all debug messages within the app. And I can scroll down, we can see we've got lots of Bluemix successfully, but we can also come in and see uh, transcripts, um, query complete, we can see all these debug messages that the developer was able to put in to the logging features. And this is just a subset of functionality. 
be sure to check out bluemix.net to start building your own applications and look in further into both Watson and IBM mobile services.